Hey there guys, it's Fire Alarm NZ here and I'm just back for a short update video. So as you can see in front of you here, I have installed a push to exit switch. I've put it on the side of my bedside cabinet uh, because I've been finding lately a lot of people are coming to my front door, generally quite late at night, and they are forgetting to bring their Rifford cards. So I will physically have to get up and push that button. I know it sounds quite lazy, but you know, if it's really early in the morning uh, and I'm still waking up, or if it's really late at night, it makes sense just to have a button beside my bed and just push it to let them in. I was experimenting around with a couple of ideas today just to see exactly how I was going to do it. Originally, I came up with the idea of just having a switch in a project box and I was just going to run a couple of cables out the side uh, over to the door access controller. But upon later thought, I remembered that I have a couple of encrypted transmitter modules, uh, generally made for home alarm systems. So I decided just to put it in an enclosure and put a button on it. So this here is completely wireless. So if I push the exit button, oh, if it'll focus, it's really bad at doing that. I can push it, and then it opens the door. So it's as simple as that, really. Uh, it's, I definitely think it's going to come in handy. I can just move it around. So yeah, I also drew up a plan and um, just a floor plan design program just to put on the software to make it look a bit more appealing. And it kind of gives you an idea of where the front door is, even though it's not hard to tell. So if this was a bigger installation, you know, you'd have an actual floor plan of the whole building and there'd be multiple doors on the system and you'd put each door that you're controlling in the area that it's controlling so you can just kind of audit where people are going just to keep an eye on their paper trail uh, make sure they're not you know wandering into places they shouldn't be that's kind of how it's used but i've just drawn one up as a proof of concept so this button here is also um tracked so if i push this you can see that it creates a log pretty instantaneous too uh, the benefits of using ethernet so I think that'll just about do for this update. I've tidied up my monitors a bit. There's cables hanging down the bottom and I've just all routed them to that corner. I'm gonna stick some cable tidy uh, sleeves over them. So yeah, I think that'll just about do it for this update. I'll push the button one more time and unlock the door. But yeah, thanks for watching and stay tuned for updates.